Hi, everybody. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball uh, Retail Edition. Six box, random team break number four. One spot gets you two teams, and there's a Super Bowl square giveaway as well. Per tradition, we will use the original, uh, the original list of names for the promo randomizer, but for the break... Let's double up your names and us randomize you a team. Good luck. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. Four and a one, five times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. All right. Steve Birch, Nuggets and Jazz. Josh, Knicks and Nets. Steve with the Rockets, Timberwolves, Thunder, and Sixers. Eric with Cavs and Spurs. Steve with Mavs and Heat. Eric C. with the Clippers. Josh with the Trailblazers. Steve with the Bulls. Logan with the Bucks. Josh with the Raptors. Logan with the Magic. Steve Birch with the Celtics. Josh with the Grizz. Steve with the Hornets. Eric with the Warriors. Josh with the Pistons. Steve with the Suns. Alex with the Kings and Lakers. And Steve Birch with the rest. Pacers, Wizards, Pelicans, and Hawks. Let's sort by column A. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. Here's the final printout right here. Hot off the presses. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. So let's see what we can pull out of here, out of this retail set. So the autos in retail, a little bit fewer and far between. Remember, we marked all those boxes so we know they're from the same case. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like that Flawless is sold out too. So Flawless Basketball coming up after this. So thanks to whoever bought those uh, the last two teams. Well, yeah, I don't think we've have we done a no a no filler flawless basketball break. We must have done at least one. I, I didn't notice these ones even say retail on the pack. Aren't they missing like four of their five starters though? The Jazz? No, Suns still have Chris Paul and Devin Booker. Still have you'll still have the two the two top guys, right? I think so. Ooh, and a nice purple Lamelo Ball rated rookie that goes to Charlotte. Steve Birch. Now, visibly refund scan in one night for 
And then Anthony Edwards. Yeah, but you still have... Come on, Joe. You still, you still have Devin Booker and Chris Paul. That's the caliber of players that the Jazz have, have missed. Look at this. Two or three good seasons from the Suns, and Joe P know, thinks he knows all about depth. He's a basque, bas He knows all about basketball now. <laughs> He's just like it's all about depth, obviously. As if as if that's what the Suns have been doing for like the last two decades. Nice Anthony Edwards hollow. Steve Birch has both the Hornets and the Timberwolves. Nice. All right, next box. All right, that's true. That's a good point, Joe. Yeah, they haven't. Suns have never had that in the last 10 years. So, so now you know what it looks like. What's the worst sport, Rex is asking? To lose a lot of your players on one team seems like the NBA. Yes. I mean, there's only five players playing at a time. Your roster, what's an NBA roster? Like 10? 10 to 15 players? You need at least 10, I think. But 15 players? But maybe 10, 7, 8 of those? 8, 9, 10 are in our, in your, uh, are like regular starters getting regular minutes. So yeah, I mean, I think for any basketball team, if you lose like, if you lose like half of, uh, if you lose like key players in your lineup, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Rex, you guys make it so easy. Make it so easy. <laughs> it's just funny that, that that Joe P's just acting like acting like uh, the Suns. Are like experts in roster construction just because they had two a couple successful seasons. James Weissman for Eric and the Warriors. Well, Joe P, you just wait until that ownership in front office <laughs> make you sad again. They'll they'll find a way to screw it up. Hey, Lakers know how to win a championship, Joe P. We've got 17 of them. And definitely one more recently than the Suns. How many do the Suns have? That Cole Anthony for Logan. He's been playing well, Logan. No, Lakers do not look good right now. <laughs> they're definitely not winning another one this year. I don't know. I mean, if they're healthy, I mean, I don't know. A lot of ifs. A lot of ifs this year.
Well, that's what happens with champions, Rex. You you put yourselves in a lot of positions to to, to lose as well. I think he meant team sports, Justin. But yeah, golf golf probably the worst sport if you uh, if you don't have yourself. Rex was saying maybe Joe and I, make, Joe P and I, make it easy on you. Make maybe we say things to make it easy on you for comebacks just to make me feel smarter. That's not true, and you know that. Joe P, would you would you go to my uh, would you go to my uh, my natural grass miniature golf course that I'm going to build when I win the lottery? Very disappointed that I did not win Mega Millions last Friday. The ticket was sold in California, but it wasn't me. It was Alex Caruso. I think that's this checkerboard is exclusive to this set. Oh, Logan's calling a jinx. Yeah, then we'll we'll see what happens with Joe P. I don't think he'll be. Uh, I don't think he'll be as cocky when that happens. But injuries. <laughs> There's Tony Bradley. It's an interesting autograph. What is that? That's for the Sixers. That's going to go to Steve Birch. Is that that looks like a that looks like a beetle? Doesn't that look like a bug? Family friendly answers only. Anyway, that'll be for Steve and the Sixers. A kidnapping. Good answer? No. Making family can steal. They feel like they think they know. All right, halfway through the six box break. Haunted. Ghosts. That's a good answer. Ghosts. All right. Over over under on this family on fast fast money. I think they get over two hundred. He's taking the over. Fast money is 200 points, right? To win. 200 points to win. I think if you got all first place and all second place answers, that could be a lot more than that, but it is 200, okay. Yeah, 
Do they even do they even allow that? Like coworkers to do family feuds? Jason, Jasmine, and I have definitely talked about it. <laughs> Good answer, good answer. There's a great, uh, for those of you who like good American satire, there's a great, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I've been one of my favorite shows. Episode on, uh, it's, for the, the gang goes to fam, play family with you. It's pretty good. Robert Woodard. And another Anthony Edwards for Steve Birch. Next box. Tug of words. Lame. I wonder I wonder what the what the process is to for a video game, for a video game, for a, for a game show, who do you pitch that to? Four. Oh. Basketball. See how this guy did. Twenty five, that's good. That's a good answer, unicorn. That's a good answer. Forty-three. They're at one twenty-nine. If they don't get to two hundred, that's that's a failure on this family. Name the month with the nicest weapon. June. 
Name something people can pick up with their toes. A pen. Real or fiction, name something. Oh, devil, that's a good answer. A Who Am I game show on ESPN? That's, see, that's not as good unless... No, see, that, that's just... I'm asking you trivia questions. Anyone, anyone at, at bar trivia could do something like that. It's got to be more complex than that. That's not going to cut. That's not going to cut it. Unless you're Zion, they're already at one eighty. May was the number one answer. It's gonna be May. You got it, Penn. 214, they got $20,000, good job. Makings family. What was the other one? the game show ESPN. Did ESPN used to have a game show? We're Sports Jeopardy. They should bring back Sports Jeopardy. I would love that. That's in Southern California. Let's go, Bravo family. Oh, that's a little annoying. Let's not do that. Let's not do that, guys. Good answer. <laughs> They're representing a whole country. They better not screw this up. All right, gang. That was it. Um, let's give away some uh, Super Bowl square spots. Or just one Super Bowl square spot. There you go. Let's gather everybody's names again. Uh, or no, we're using the original 15 names. I already set that up. There we go. We said that at the beginning of the break. Let's roll it. Randomize it. Six and a one. Seven times. Name on top after seven is in the Super Bowl squares. Promo one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And one more. Seventh and final time. Good luck. After seven. Steve Birch definitely had the odds with him, and you are uh, you are in. You're in that Super Bowl Squares promo. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.